Hi, I'm delighted to have some time to speak with you today about our approach to the treatment of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy and particularly the way we've enlisted our colleagues in radiology around three-dimensional printing of the left ventricle to help guide our surgical approach. And so sorting out A, which patients will be best served with a surgical myectomy, and B, if we're going to do a surgical myectomy, how much should we take out? Where should we focus? Now, those are all issues that I think can be addressed uh, by leveraging the experience of our radiologists, particularly in three-dimensional printing. And I want to show you a three-dimensional model made of one of the patients that we did a septal myectomy on uh, that helped us, I think, in guiding our therapy. If we look inside, they bivalve these for me. You can really see, particularly in this patient, you can appreciate how there's essentially an apical cavity right here, and you can see this septal bulge. And here, on this side, I've drawn a, a diagram, or a line, to demonstrate what it would look like to take out that piece of septum. And you can see what looks like an apical chamber, very narrow spot here. Aim to do is to cut this this also shows how deeply into the ventricle one needs to go to get adequate gradient relief. So for example, in this particular patient, this 3D print helped me to understand and appreciate how deeply I needed to go into the ventricle to be able to get adequate gradient relief. I will tell you that patients really appreciate seeing the three-dimensional uh, reconstruction of their ventricles. This has really turned out to be a tremendously useful tool in helping me to do a better job uh, with septal myectomies, which uh, is an extremely effective way to treat hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy.